First date, the musical. Stereotypes, the musical. It was an hour and a half long. Mm. And so I'm sort of fine with it because it wasn't meant to be anything deeper than that. Right. I think it was a style choice. Yeah. No, absolutely. They were meant to be blown out personalities, like very specific types of people. Right, right, right. And I think it succeeded in that respect. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought it was cute and funny and fun mm -hmm. and everybody in it's really good. Mm -hmm. Zachary Levi. You're welcome, ladies. Oh, and gentlemen. man. Yes, whoever is into men. I mean, he's a type, so he might not be yours, but he's definitely mine. You know, he's saying entangled, but right. it's recorded, and he's a Hollywood actor, and, you know, you never know. Um, his voice is great, and it really worked with the songs. Zachary is, he's legit. He's like, uh, I hope he, you know, stays on the Broadway stuff. Yeah. He's really good, and he was very funny. And I wasn't, like, obviously throwing my panties at him or anything, but he was great. He was, yeah. He was so funny and mm -hmm. spot on and had a lot of really, really good moments of, like, things that weren't scripted, like acting moments of, like, uh, yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, reactions yeah. and delivery, like his delivery Line readings. was really great, like an actor. I wonder, I would like be acting. curious to go back and see it again to see if he, as a TV actor who is used to doing mm. multiple takes, changes his line readings. Mm. Krista Rodriguez. Krista Rodriguez. Girl. She can sing. Listen, I love everything about her and I think she's fabulous. But obviously the true star of this show is her hair. Oh. And whoever is doing her hair every night, her hair is literally flawless. It's like that perfect kind of hair where she's like whipping it around and it moves so beautifully. But then she sort of goes and it just goes right back into exactly how it's supposed to look. Yeah. Or if it's a little messy for a while and it still looks really good so and then really slowly good. it gets comes back to like it's rest natural resting <gasps> spot <laughs> it was the most perfect hair i've ever seen in a broadway show it is really good hair i think she was really great with less of an interesting character and that could be my me personally reacting to that I, yeah i don't think she's a less interesting um, character i think you just hate that character <laughs> What do you have against women who have father issues? I don't have anything against women who have father issues. First of all, again, let's establish that this is a stereotype. Right, of a obviously. They're all stereotypes. I have a lot of female friends with father issues. I know, but it's like your thing where she's like, oh, father. <laughs> well, I, I think roll. it's an easy thing to go to. Right, but so it was, but it's like but not. I don't even, the funny thing is, is that you're saying that and I don't remember the part with the father issues. The thing about her character, I suppose, that is that kind of character is just that like hard-edged lady character that is like, I don't know, it's very romantic comedy but uninteresting to me where it's like I'm cut off from all emotions because of whatever reason, sometimes father issues, sometimes other issues, um, but by the end I'm gonna realize that I need to feel. I love a nonsense rom-com, and that's kind of what this was. Well, all the characters were a little, ugh. Anytime her character started talking about <laughs> herself, you were like, ugh. <laughs> and you rolled your eyes, and we're like, really, ugh. <laughs> Which is, I think it's interesting. I think this show is actually really interesting in that aspect, whereas every single character is a vast stereotype, but everyone has specific react, like you specifically. Sure. Even though they're all awful stereotypes, her character like pissed you off yes. and the gay best friend character pissed a lot of people we know off like a lot of our friends yeah. were really upset about that gay character and when I saw it I was, went into the show honestly because of what other people were saying expecting to be very offended and then was like wait you guys know that every like you you could basically be offended by anyone in the show like sure. if you're a white lady who lives in Connecticut there's a character that's gonna offend you in this show you know <laughs> yeah if you're a struggling actor waiter there's a character that's gonna offend you in this show sure if you're a Jewish guy you'll be offended the Jewish song I'd cut that <laughs> I think every single musical, even the most perfect musicals, have songs where you're like, I mean, sure, you could cut that. Yeah. You could cut the wizard songs in Wicked. <gasps> Gypsy, which is the most perfect musical to ever be a musical, mm -hmm. you know, Mr. Goldstone, I could take it or leave it. It's 
funny yeah. song, but it's not yeah. the, it's not the best in the show. Ugh, more I cannot wish you from Guys and Dolls. <laughs> Terrible. So every show has that number, and First Date had that weird Jewish number. And like, I get where they were going with the gay song, the gay best friend song, but I didn't like the the stylized synthesizer, synthesizer. Word that they were using. I yeah. did, disliked that. We understood the sound that they were going for. Yeah. I don't know that it was necessary. Everybody in the ensemble, which is small, very small, um, was giving it though. You know, they were committing to, it was a lot of goofiness, you know, and they were committing to it. Yeah. And so it made it work a lot better. You know what's funny? What? One of those ensemble ladies, uh -huh. I'm not sure which one because I can't remember, but she takes selfies on stage and posts them. <gasps> Look them up on Twitter. One of them posts selfies from stage every night and it's fucking hilarious. That's awesome. Yeah. We see so much Broadway and we see so many things that are like Broadway focused that it, it I don't really see the world, like the life that a show has beyond Broadway. And watching this, coming from working the theater camp all summer, I was like, this show is perfect for other productions. Absolutely. Like even if it's short lived on Broadway, it is so ready to be licensed and done everywhere. You could, cause like this cast on Broadway ha is tiny, but like it's perfect to have a huge cast to do at a high school or a community mm -hmm. theater or something like that. Because every single tiny little character that those like five ensemble members are playing could be played could by be a different played kid by a different and like, person. yeah, it's great. You know what I was thinking while I was watching it? It was like the musical version of the performers. Like, The Performers was a fun, light, sort of, you know, cartoonish yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a little bit of stereotype, stereotypical archetype people. Yeah. Um, and this was in set in the world of porn. But, and this was like a yeah. cleaner, but sort of similar yeah. version. I think because it's musical theater, people will respond to that better than it was a play. Obviously, I had to say that bit about Chris Rodriguez's hair. But I do need, like, she's... Amazing. Mm. She looks amazing. Her costume is really yeah. cute and like she is working that stage and working those boots and her voice is sickening and like she's fabulous. Yeah. More musicals for her, please. Thank you. Yes, it stereotypes the musical. It's also clearly stereotypes the musical written by men. Like I think some of the I well, think some of the stereotype things could have been like a little better, like a little I don't know. Not so silly. And especially in regards to her character. Maybe that's why I hated her character so much. Probably. You know, like there was a little less... Because you know what it is? Balance. His character is like, oh, stereotype, that guy. But he's very, very likable. Mm -hmm. And I feel like her character is like stereotype and you're kind of not supposed to like her. Or you don't yeah. want to like her because of how the, the stereotype that she is. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That like, that's the type of character we're not supposed to like. And his is the type of character we are supposed to like. Yeah, but shouldn't we like them both? Well, yeah. I think they did a good job of making it seem like she wouldn't really like him. Mm -hmm. But you, it was very hard to see how he would eventually, like how other people would like her. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> they did Where not make her likable. Right. Except for the fact that it's played by Chris Rodriguez, who's... Right. Right. Amazing. And you, it's a musical, so I knew eventually right. they would give her something redeeming. Right. And also, there wasn't anything to like hate. Right. You're just, like, it's just. But he was just like goofy and funny and adorable. And like nerdy and a little damaged. And really endearing. Yeah. And then she, her character comes in not liking him, which makes you not like her because you've already established, mm. he's introduced first and you've already established that we like him as a character. Yeah. And we like what he's all about. We want him to succeed. And then she comes in and is sort of like the antithesis there it is. to that, yeah, which makes us dislike her as a character, regardless of how stereotypical they both are. Yeah. True. Maybe if it were written by women, like two women, two straight women, maybe it would be like a douchey frat guy and like a girl next door. Right. Which is entirely possible. And then we realize, oh, he loves his mom a lot and she you know, needs to dirty your life up a little bit. The lighting was really good. The lighting was really good. I enjoyed good. the lighting very much. The lighting was really good. Props. Lots of props. 
The wig problem with Kate Lopez's wig is that it moved really well, but it was meant to be versatile because sometimes it was up a little bit and sometimes mm. it was down. And I think it was a wig that was made in one way and then used in another way. Like, I think it was meant to be, when she had it, the uh, little bit was up, it looked natural. Yeah. But then when it put down, the top part looked weird. Yeah. So it wasn't, I don't think it was a wig that was made to be versatile. And if it mm. was, that sucks. Krista Rodriguez's hair, though. God, her, like, <laughs> her hair was amazing. We will make a schmazy the best hair on Broadway, and it will go... Maybe. Natural. Because we do natural. have a best wig. But that's best hair <gasps> we natural. We should have best hair natural. <laughs> ah! Spoiler alert, Krista Rodriguez is probably going to win. If we stand the test of time Are the winds too strong against us And we can't quite make the climb Baldwin and Zachary Levi workshop parade. <laughs>